Hey, how you doing? Nope, my name's not Stanley. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Today's really short video is going to be how to adjust the RPM on a Briggs & Stratton L-head engine. It's very common, but it's something you really want to be careful about. Um, on these particular engines, you could be mowing around bushes and leaves, and you can actually bend the bracket that uh, adjusts that RPM. Uh, you really don't want to push it too far because you can overheat your engine. Um, I use a tachometer to do this. A lot of people just use their ear. But generally speaking, if it runs slow, it runs sluggish, you're having trouble getting it to go through grass, you could probably adjust your RPM just a little bit. Watch this video. Right. This particular uh, engine is a Briggs & Stratton. They called it the Platinum. Um, it's a 7.0 uh, engine, and this is the L-head version. If you notice, there's no valve cover under there for uh, any valves. Um, but this is a very common engine. It's a little older, but it's a really common engine uh, to have some problems in case uh, the actual bracket is just right behind that slot right there, so it's easy if you get in some weeds or some branches or whatnot, you can adjust that and pull that spring out of place. So I'll show you how we do all that. All right, on this particular engine, um, the governor return spring is attached right under this plastic cover. Phillips screwdriver, get that top off of there. All right. And then right under here is where you can see the attachment for that governor spring. I'll give you a close-up. Okay, so right in here you can see the governor return spring, um, and it is attached uh, on the far end inside the engine to the governor arm. And it's this bracket right here that you can actually very easily take a pair of needle nose pliers um, and bend that bracket either out or in. If you pull it further away and give it more tension, then that will increase the RPM. If you push it in, that will decrease the RPM. Now, the particular device I use is a digital tachometer. Uh, this is a no-contact version where you actually hold the probe just anywhere near where the spark plug is, and it will read out uh, what the particular RPM is. Um, that's good um, because if you uh, don't use some device, you know, if you go by your ear, which is okay, you know, and generally speaking, if it sounds like it's running crazy fast, it probably is, um, you can buy some less expensive types. Um, a lot of places that sell uh, these hour meters, they work by having a wire wrapped around your spark plug wire, and oftentimes these little hour meters also double as a tachometer. So it's a it's a not a bad investment if you want to try to adjust this and you're not comfortable uh, with going by your ear and you don't want to over rev your engine. All right, gonna fire this up and um, I will adjust it. I'll speed it up and then slow it down and try to get it back to where it was. You'll be able to hear the engine RPM changing.
when you're happy with that, that's right around 3,000 RPM, which is a good happy medium. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. Put that cover back on there. And this mower is good to go. Alright, so there you have it. That's how I adjust the RPM on a Briggs & Stratton L-head engine. Just remember, be careful. Don't overdo it. You can blow up your engine if you do that. But it's helpful to know how to do that in case it gets out of adjustment. If you learned something, please push the like and subscribe button. And if you didn't, just push the button anyway. It's your good deed for the day. Thanks for watching. I'm the Lawnmower Lady, and as I like to say, mo happy.